What's up? I'm Rebecca. It is the day after yesterday when I uploaded my video about Mother's Day. And it's a much better day today. Uh, yeah, instead of starting a depressive episode, it was just a bad day. And then it became a good night. And we made it through it. Praise Jesus. He helped me along the way. Okay, so I'm going to show you my awesome eclectic soft girl outfit because I don't know what to call it and then we'll get into the abortion stuff so here's the fit oh 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 jeez oh jeez Louise here we go let's do this there we go yeah 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 so we got these long socks which I haven't been able to wear with hardly anything since I bought them like in my Hot Topic high school days a long time ago. <laughs> uh, we got a little extra black sock to make these shoes fit better and also match the black and pastel choker. Got a, a hair scarf. The internet said it was from my uh, from the 90s and my dad said it was from the 60s so I think the 90s just took it from the 60s or something but I've never braided a scarf into my hair and uh, I like it. Anyways, there's my little outfit. Um, oh, I love this bracelet so much. All the little Jesus crosses. Mwah, so sweet. Okay, so let's talk about Roe v. Wade. <laughs> so I am a Christian? I'm a feminist, I'm a socialist, like far leftist, um, but the, the more time goes on and the more I learn to look at the world through a biblical lens, the less I identify at my core with these political ideologies because ultimately all of them fail to live up to God's standard in some way or another, but overall, generally, we like socialism, we like helping the poor, we like feminism, we like equal rights for women, and, uh, yeah, left leftism in general. Generally good stuff. However, in relation to the Roe v. Wade thing, oh, I, f I forgot to say specifically, I'm also a pro-choice Christian. I think that we should do everything we can to reduce abortion rates as much as physically possible. Um, I think legalizing or illegalizing is irrelevant. Like that, n neither of those significantly helps reduce abortions. I think they should be legal so that in circumstances like, uh, I don't know, with like an ectopic pregnancy, if you can even call that an abortion, because it's more just like a surgery or something like, um, I don't know, just a situation where the baby can't come to term even, and like the, the mom needs an abortion or she's gonna die. Like, uh, I, I definitely think there should be safe legal abortions um, for situations where it's necessary. Also, I understand that there are women who carry babies that come from sexual assault to term and they raise their kids I think that's incredibly powerful of them and I respect them so much for doing it at the same time I'm not going to think any less of someone who doesn't want to carry that baby to term it's just not my place like I can't even fathom what that must be like so you know I'm not here to say when you should or shouldn't get abortions overall I think they should be safe they should be legal so that the least amount of people die adult or baby um, the issue, though, is that all the rhetoric that I'm hearing surrounding this potential overturning of Roe v. Wade, it's like it's almost driving the libs and the normies' heels in even further, and they're just like, no, abortion is fine, fetuses aren't humans, and it's like, this is why the right is winning. Like, I don't... The left, despite the fact that I was drawn much further left after falling down the alt-right pipeline leading up to Trump's presidency, um, most people who were like, never sucked down that rabbit hole, people who were just classic normie libs, or even leftists, um, they didn't learn their lesson 
because I thought it was hilarious before I realized how bad it would be. I thought it was hilarious that Trump won, even though I was never a Trump supporter and I never wanted him to be president. I just thought it was hilarious because everyone was like smugly laughing about how, oh, Trump will never be president. Oh, <laughs> and then he literally was president. And it's like, yeah, you guys are just so smug and arrogant that you ignored like this entire huge population of people that voted for him and you really thought that you run the that you ran the world that election and you didn't and so it drives me up the wall even more as an actual leftist now not just like a lib like in my teenage days like a full-on radical leftist feminist it just drives me up the wall even more seeing how people still haven't learned their lessons and how it's it, it just drives people further apart and the truth is more in the middle is is I guess what I'm trying to say like and ultimately my point I've been kind of dancing around it because it's kind of controversial I think to say and I, I care too much about what people think of me but I'm on God's side and I'm on the side of justice and righteousness and humanity love peace truth that's the side that I'm on so if anyone's against me ultimately that's on them <sighs> the issue is that people are dehumanizing human fetuses. People are dehumanizing human fetuses. I've talked about this many times on my channel before. They are saying, oh, well, women should be allowed to get it whenever they want. It shouldn't even be an issue. And like, yes, technically it should le be legal and safe and women should be allowed to get abortions. Is that the culture we want to foster? Because the way I see it, as someone who is a Christian, who actually cares about pro-choice, pro abortion being legal, but also about the least amount of babies dying as possible, cr crazy, I know. Um, on the right, we have, uh, I'm trying to think how to put it. We have people who, care about babies up until they're born at which point because okay just in case you didn't know i feel like most people should know this by now but over 60 percent the vast majority of abortions are due to poverty and families feeling like they won't be able to provide for the new baby in addition to everyone else in their family Hold on. you can go in there you go um So yeah, on the right you have people who care about babies up until they're born, at which point they're like, oh, your family's too poor to feed all of you, and so you're not gonna be able to eat enough food? That's fine, we don't care. You, you can die after you're born. You can, <laughs> you can die of malnutrition after you're born. What's important is that you're born. That's the Republican side. Then on <laughs> the lib side, which is like center right, if we're being real, we have people who are saying, oh, well, you just shouldn't be born. It's just more ethical to kill the baby before it's born into poverty. So like we have, we have post-birth genocide of the impoverished, which also means majority black and brown community because non-white people are statistically more likely to be impoverished in this country so we have people who are trying to post-birth genocide the poor so that the kids die off of starvation because their families can't take care of them and then we have the left who wants to pre-birth genocide the poor <laughs> and they're trying to convince us that it's somehow liberating for us to self-genocide via abortion the lower classes basically. And so I'm just here in the middle, like, can't we support women's rights and babies' rights? Like, can't we make safe legal abortion and also help the poor so that the vast majority of the demand for abortion is completely eliminated? Like, I I've been a fan of John Oliver for a long time, but I am so sick of men parroting what they think they're supposed to say in name of women's like just stop just just stop <laughs> i was watching the john oliver special and it just disgusted me how he was 
just so callous about the issue of abortion and like, oh, well, who needs to reduce abortions? Believe it or not, I know it's hard when you're like eternally online like me and like you might be if you're watching this, um, but the majority of people don't want there to be more abortions. The majority, the vast majority of humans intuitively know that it would be better better to have less abortions as opposed to more abortions crazy I know and so when you build your entire case for legal abortions on the dehumanization of human fetuses and the devaluation uh, or the devaluing of, of, of baby lives like it's no wonder that Roe v. Wade is potentially getting overturned and honestly I can't get behind either of these sides because both sides don't care about the poor do nothing to help the poor and actually hurt the poor and they can do it in the name of freedom or whatever but even as someone who doesn't like Roe v. Wade being overturned who really 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 doesn't like it um I definitely consider it like a, a step backwards even so I am not going to go out marching with people for this I am not going to go out rallying around this because as much as I care about those rights I cannot get behind the genocide of the poor. Like all this antinatalist bullshit, like oh my gosh, it makes me so angry. Like all these pro uh pro choice antinatalists like oh who who cares? Who cares? Like who cares about bringing the baby into the world? Like like it's a terrible world and there's too many people overpopulation. Like you guys realize that if the rich weren't hoarding their wealth and resources, the majority of the world's wealth and resources, that we'd all be provided for, right? Like, you realize that overpopulation is something that has been created by the hoarding of wealth, by the whatever micro less than 1% it is. Like, the solution is not genociding the, the, the poor. The, even if it's self-genocide by choice because we're too poor to afford babies so we just start killing our babies instead of having them like it's still a genocide of the poor which means a genocide of majority black and brown communities what do you know white supremacy in everything in everything on the right and on the left and it drives me crazy because the left acts like they're so woke there is no left in america there is the far right and there's the center right the Republicans and the Democrats. Leftism is never allowed because leftism is much more in alignment with Jesus's teachings about helping the poor, selflessness, and you can't hoard wealth and genocide the poor when you're helping the poor and being selfless. You get what I'm saying? So um, yeah, I will not be doing a single thing to rally with the left with these center-right libs who don't care about baby lives. Like, I can't, I can't. Y'all are making it so hard for me to fight for justice. I'm just gonna stick to my own plans that I have with God to hopefully one day start a nonprofit, which actually addresses these issues in a meaningful way um, by helping the poor. And yeah, I, I just, I, I've compl I'll still vote, but I have completely given up any hope in politics. And this is why I put my faith in Jesus and in God, because politics will always fail us until the very day that Jesus comes back. Politics will fail us, and it will only get worse from here. Uh, so yeah, that's why even as a feminist who cares about this issue, I will not be putting any effort into rallying around this issue because both sides are just disgustingly bigoted against impoverished communities and black and brown communities and it makes me want to vomit in their faces and uh none of that is in al alignment with jesus's teachings and so i will just let the world tear itself to shreds <laughs> we all need jesus <laughs> okay god bless you have a beautiful day and um yeah don't be afraid to separate yourself from this world because this world sucks <laughs> god bless